questions. Yeah, that'd be good. Kind of what was your message to the team after week nine? Just that, you know, we uh, we didn't give ourselves a chance to win. I mean, we, we made mistake after mistake in the field. We booted a double play ball. You know, uh, we don't hit the cutoff man from left field. The guy gets to walk into second base. We kick a ball at short. We, we, I mean, we made we made some critical errors. But really, what we did is we pitched behind all night. Um, a lot of two zero counts, three one counts. They were in really good hitter count, and they took advantage of it and swung the bats well. And uh, you know, uh, they put together a couple of big innings. You know, the inning they hit a grand slam before. We got an out. You know, had three base runners on, and uh, you know we just we right now we just don't have enough pitching depth. I mean, bottom line, it uh, kind of showed on Sunday. We saw it again today. After that grand slam, y'all loaded the bases, no outs, yep. came up empty. Did that kind of take the air out of y'all? Sales? Well, you know, at bottom line, we just got to score at least one, maybe two, right there, because we have three of our top hitters coming up. You know, we we had the two hole, three hole, and four hole, and you know, we strike out, pop up, and ground out. We really don't even hit a ball out of the infield. And uh, at a minimum, we should have tied that game or maybe taken the lead. And, uh, yeah, that, that was a little disappointing. Um, you know, and that was part of the message today that we, we don't drive in runs. Um, when your nine-hole hitters leading the team in RBIs kind of tells you something. Uh, it, you know, because th- we've had runners on a lot and, and you know, you got to hit when people are on base, and and that's one thing that we have not done. What their lefty do? Just to... I don't know. I mean, you look at his numbers, uh, just okay. And boy, he had a great night tonight. I mean, give him give him credit. He's a senior, and you know he pitched five innings and kept us off balance. Um, basically, just throwing a little slider and and uh, mixing it up a little bit. Um, but you know we, you know we had our opportunities. We missed some pitches. And uh, fouled him off, and 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 you know it seemed like when he got ahead the count, he found ways to finish our guys off. You know, give him credit. Ramage got you out of the jam there in the, uh, I think it was the fourth. What what was going on in the fifth? I don't know. You'll have to ask him. I mean, you saw what I saw. Obviously, you have to play with the hand you're dealt. You talked about the pitching depth. What what can you do to address that? You know, here in the middle of the season like this. Well, you know, it's. Uh, you know, you got one of our top pitchers is, is injured right now, and that's, you know, shifted some innings to some other guys. Somebody's got to pick it up, you know. Um, I don't know, you know, Ramage is uh, is a guy that we've used a couple times a week, but we only throw him a couple innings. You know, his, his last couple outings have been shaky, and hopefully he, he'll have a good good weekend. And Vermillion's got to, you know, give, give us a couple innings. And, uh, obviously, you know, our three starters, they've done a pretty good job for us, but uh, we haven't even got to the point where we can use Crone and he's well rested. But, uh, you know, it's, it's a lot of these new guys, young guys, that, you know, you hope that there's two or three of them that you know, can, can really, you know, excel a little bit out of the bullpen or take a role or be a Tuesday starter. And uh, really, you know, besides Wicklander, uh, we haven't found that guy, and uh, you know that's been a little disappointing. How tough to regroup for Auburn with the Thursday game? Um, I mean, I think it's it's probably good that uh, we we're getting out of town tomorrow. We practice tomorrow at their field, and then we just play again. And you know, we're playing a really good team on the road. I mean, going into tonight, they'd only lost like one game at home all year, and I don't know how they did against Georgia Tech, but uh, you know, they they're they're awfully good. That's a- the lineup, um, any more thoughts about what, what you might do against Auburn? You know, you had Ezel tonight. Um, no, I liked Ezel leading off. I thought he did a good job. You know, he laid down, he got two bunt hits and he got a single to right, left handed. Uh, you know, he he took a lot of pitches. Um, you know, two hole didn't have such a good night, struck out three or four times. And, uh, you know, Heston in the, in, the, in the three hole, I mean, he had a big at bat with the bases loaded and one out. and. You know, he swung at a bad pitch. Balls up and in. You know, it's uh, it's like I told these guys. You know, that the, it, it's they've got to take control of 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 their at bats, and they have to be a little more patient and and you know and and get pitches they can handle early in the count. Um, you know, when you're behind in the count, you have two strikes on you. You have to fight and do what you have to do. But 
uh, we we need to get some we need to get better pitches early with runners in scoring position because their pitchers will let you get yourself out and I feel like that that's been going on a little bit lately. Just UALR the way they played tonight they obviously you know seemed like every hit they were energized. With. Just what did you think about maybe the energy they brought? And, and well, they did well. I mean, anytime you're hitting like they hit, uh, you're going to be excited and there's going to be a lot going on. And uh, uh, you know, like I said earlier, you got to give them credit. They came in and. Uh, you know, they they got behind, they got ahead, they got behind, and then they took the lead. We load the bases with no outs. Looks like we're going to, at a minimum, tie it up or who knows what, and they get out of it. And, uh, you know, then they came in and, and, and scored another run or two, and, and uh, you know, we, we were running short on pitching. And uh, But they took advantage of everything we, we gave them, which was, you know, booting balls. We had a ground ball back to the mound. Pitcher can't throw the ball to first base. It wasn't wet. It only hit the ground one time, you know. Uh, and so uh, there's a little bit of growing pains going on with with some of these youngsters. And, uh, you know, we'll, we'll see how it turns out. The pitching matchup on Thursday between uh, Isaiah and Tanner and what you hope to get out of that? Well, I don't, I don't know who's pitching for Auburn yet, do you? Yeah. I mean, you know, we, we kind of have to stick with the same rotation because of, of rest. Uh, but you know, if, if Burns throws, I mean, he's he's outstanding. Isaiah's outstanding. It'll be uh, it should be a great matchup. Anybody else? Okay. Thanks. All right.